Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. In the next few minutes, we're going to see how easy it is to remove distractions and unwanted elements using the new Generative Remove tool in Lightroom Classic. We can tap Q or click on the eraser icon to access the new Remove options. The Clone and Heal modes work the same as in previous versions, but when I click on the Remove icon, we see several new options. By default, Generative AI is off, and we can still use the Remove tool without Generative AI. When I paint over these small rocks in the pathway, Lightroom Classic quickly fabricates completely new pixels to replace the unwanted areas, and it does so locally without requiring an internet connection. Now to remove larger areas, I'll enable Generative AI. Then I'll paint over this rock and grassy area, and when I release the cursor, Lightroom Classic will display a red overlay of the masked area and display the mask refinement options. I can click on the color swatch to change the color of the mask and add to or subtract from the masked area. I'll choose Add and Paint to include this area as well. Then I'll click Apply and Lightroom will generate three versions of the area that I want to remove using Adobe Firefly Generative AI. Now Generative AI does require internet connectivity because it performs its computations in the cloud. I'll click through the three variations and choose the one that I like best. If I wanted to create alternate variations, I can click Refresh. Next, let's also paint over these rocks and then choose Apply. For time's sake, in the rest of the video, I'll speed up the rendering. Then I'll select the variation that looks the best. Next, let's paint over these rusted pieces of metal to remove them. I'll choose to Apply, Lightroom will do its magic, and we can choose a variation. Next, I'll remove the pipe. It's important that I also paint over the shadow, and then click Apply, and just like that, it's removed. There's also an Object Aware option. Similar to Object Selection and Masking, this feature helps detect objects in the image. I'll paint quickly around these steps, and when I release the cursor, Object Aware detects the object and then extends the mask area, adding a buffer around the object that will be used to blend the newly created information and make it look more natural. I'll click Apply, and then choose one of the variations. Next, let's see if Lightroom can identify this addition as an object. Excellent, I'll just add in this area and click Apply. Then I'll select this variation. Okay, let's disable Object Aware, and then paint over the chimney. I'll click Apply. But when I zoom in, you may notice that the blue sky isn't blending well, and that the mask icon has a red dot warning us that one of our AI masks needs to be updated. We can see here that I have an AI-generated sky mask. If I click the three dots, I can choose to update all AI masks. After updating, the blending is fixed. So it might be wise to use the Remove tools before you do your masking to avoid having to update the masks. Next, let's batch remove a number of objects. I'll start with these wires and their shadows. Then I'll add this metal, plus these little distracting elements, and click Apply. Now when the masking areas are distinct, meaning that they're not connected to the original paint area, in this case the wire area, Lightroom Classic automatically separates them into their own spots with their own pins before creating the fill information. This allows Generative Fill to process each spot separately and create a higher quality result. When I click through the variation, notice that only the initial wire area is replaced. But we can see that these additional pins have been added, and if I select one of them, we can see that it has its own variations. Finally, let's remove this stuff in the window. I'll click Apply, and then choose the variation. Excellent, I'll use the eye icon to toggle without and with the removed areas. Three quick tips before we wrap up. First, if you want to bypass the masked refinement state, you can hold the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows and paint with the brush. As soon as you stop painting, Lightroom will begin generating the information, bypassing the need to click Apply. Then we can select the variation that we prefer. Second, when working with multiple images that have similar content, we can add a generative AI remove spot and then choose Copy. 
I'll select None, and then select Remove and Copy. I'll move to this next image, and when I choose Paste, we can see that Lightroom Classic has copied the AI Generative Remove spot, but it hasn't auto-updated it. This allows us to reposition the spot if something's moved in your image, and then update them all at once. Likewise, we can batch remove spots by selecting several images and enabling Auto Sync. And just like using the Copy and Paste command, the AI generated spots won't be automatically updated, allowing you to reposition them if necessary. And third, the Visualize Spots option has been moved from the toolbar to the Remove panel to make it more discoverable. When enabled, we can use the slider to adjust the high contrast preview, making those hard to see spots more visible and easy to remove. As you may have noticed, the generative AI feature is labeled as early access as it's still in development. Please use the feedback link to share any concerns or comments with the team. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.